good morning students welcome back to online class how are you students i hope you all are fine and safe by the grace of god now we are learning geography part is it from geography part now we are learning geography lesson 5 india population communication transport and trade from that lesson which topic we learned in previous class have you remember students very good we learned about second means of transport and the third means of transport which is the second and third means of transport waterways and air transport then first of all we can recollect few important points about previous class portion students listen very careful waterways is an important mode of transport it carry passengers and cargo traffic in india what is mean by cargo cargo means goods items it carried on ship then and also the waterways uh, through the waterways carrying heavy and bulky materials from one country to another country heavy and bulky Bu heavy and bulky means large materials large weight materials then next we learned about the two types of water transport what are the two types of water transport have you remember students excellent inland waterways and ocean waterways what are the two types of water transport inland waterways and ocean waterways first we learned about the first type inland waterways what are the main sources of inland waterways rivers canals lakes and backwaters then for the development and maintenance of these water uh, waterways the inland waterways authority was set up now i am going to ask one question which year the inland waterways authority was set up very good 1986 then next we learned about the major international waterways what are the major national waterways national waterway 1 national waterway 2 national waterway 3 then next we will learn about the second types of water transport which is the second types of water transport very good oceanic routes it is the oceanic routes this oceanic routes play an important role for transport sector of india's economy it is very important role in indian economy 95 percentage of total foreign trade among them the 70% of total foreign trades are moves through this oceanic route is it then i am going to ask few important questions students how many major ports are there in india very good there are 13 major ports are there in india then the second question how many minor ports are there in india excellent there are 200 minor ports are there then the major ports are administrated by central government then the minor ports are administrated by state government then next we learned about some of the major ports uh, which are the areas that particular major ports are there listen very careful kolkata parathip visakhapatnam chennai ennur thoothukuri kandla mumbai navaseva new mangalore marmago and kochi these are the important major ports of india then next we learned about four major shipyards what are the four major shipyards students excellent hindustan shipyard it is in visakhapatnam garden reach workshop it is in kolkata mesagon dock it is in mumbai kochi shipyard it is in kochi these are the things we learned from water base then next we learned about air bay transport is it now listen very careful this air transport are the quickest costliest and comfortable means of transport quickest fastly we can move from one place to other place or one country to other country then costliest it is very cost we want to spend more money to uh, travel this particular air transport 
then but it is very comfortable means of transport then this air transport carries passengers freight and mail listen very careful this air transport carries passengers freight freight means goods items then mail these are the things carry through air transport then the uh, then one question i am going to ask students what are the two uh, ways of air transport very good domestic airways and international airways domestic airways means it the air uh, air transport fly within the boundaries that means one state to other state or one district to other district in a country then international airways means it connect major cities of the world international airways means it connect major cities of the world that means between the country one country to other country then next i am going to ask the next question how many airlines are there in india very good two airlines are there in india what are the two airlines of india indian airlines and air india indian airlines and air india then the indian airlines provides domestic air services indian airlines provides domestic air services then air india provides international air services okay students the next question how many designated international airports are there in india very good there are 19 designated international airports are available in india the next we learned about pawan khans helicopter limited next we learned about pawan khans helicopter limited listen very careful students pawan khans helicopter limited has been providing helicopter support services it provide helicopter support services it includes petroleum sector ongc and oil india limited the abbreviation of ongc means very good oil and natural gas corporation okay then finally we learned about airport authority of india finally we learned about airport authority of india this airport authority of, of india was constituted in the year 1995 it provides security to indian airports is it then and also it is responsible for creating creating means to forming then upgrading upgrading means rise to a higher rank then maintaining and managing civil aviation that means aviation means flying or operating aircraft okay then these are the things we learned from air transport okay students now i hope you uh, you learned these all exercises also students now let us come forward to today's class today i am going to explain communication the today's topic is communication first of all what is mean by communication communication is a process that involves exchange of information thoughts and ideas listen very careful students what is mean by communication communication means exchange of information thoughts and ideas for one person to other person okay nowadays many technologies are developed in communication field and also the communication is classified into two types listen very careful student the communication is classified into two types personal communication and mass communication what are the two types of communication very good personal communication and mass communication first of all i am going to explain personal communication what is mean by personal communication the exchange of information between the individual is called personal communication students listen very careful personal communication means the exchange of information between the individuals okay then the important sources of personal communications are post telegraph services telephone mobile phone short message services fax internet email etc 
listen very careful students what are the important sources of personal communication post telegraph services telephone mobile phone short message services fax internet email etc then personal communication system is established to direct contact through personal communication we can directly contact to other person then listen very careful students the indian postal network is the largest network in the world very listen very careful the indian postal network is the largest in the world in india 155000 post officers are there in india there are 155000 post officers are there out of this 139000 post officers are located in rural areas listen very careful students total post officers are 155000 out of this 139000 post officers are situated in rural areas then the postal service was opened in the year 1837 many one word questions are there students you should underline and listen very careful this one the postal service was opened in the year 1837 then the first indian postal stamp was issued in the year 1852 in karachi the per, the first indian postal stamp was issued in the year 1852 then collecting and delivering mail is the important duty of the department of post then it introduced quick mail services in 1975 the indian postal services introduced the quick mail service in 1975 this quick mail service function on the basis of the system of pin the abbreviation of pin is postal index number the abbreviation of pin is postal index number okay then this postal index number code was introduced in the year 1972 then uh, the important premium products are money order e money order speed post express parcel post business post media post satellite post retail post greeting post data post speed net and speed passport services listen very careful students what are the premium products of indian postal services money order e money order e money order means electronic money order then speed post express parcel post business post media post satellite post retail post retail post means send goods and services retail post means send goods and services then passport services okay data post data post means parcel services then speed net these are the important premium products included in indian postal services okay then india has one of the largest telecommunication network in india then in urban areas two third of the villages are have this postal communication okay then in the villages areas mostly covered with std std telephone facility std means subscriber trunk dialing std means subscriber trunk dialing then and also the international communication also made through isd the international communication also made through isd isd means international subscriber dialing international subscriber dialing then the telephone is a form of oral communication the telephone is a form of oral communication it is considered very essential for the growth of commerce in the economical condition mostly it is used then it is the most performed form of provides instant communication instant means exact point of time instant means exact point of time then mobile phone fax 
and internet are the other personal communication used in the country. Listen very careful students. I will repeat few one word important question from here. In India, how many post offices are there? One lakh fifty five thousand. Okay. Then uh, among them, one lakh thirty nine thousand post offices are located in rural areas. Postal service is opened in the year eighteen thirty seven. Then postal stamp is issued in the year. 1852 the quick mail services introduced in the year 1975 then quick mail services are functioned in the system of pin the pin the pin's postal index number is introduced in the year 1972 okay then in india has one of the largest telecommunication network in india in the rural areas one third of the villagers have std that means subscriber trunk dialing subscriber trunk dialing and also international communication also made through isd that mean international subscriber dialing okay then this telephone is a form of oral communication okay students then next i am going to teach the second type of communication next i am going to teach the second type of communication the second type of communication is mass communication the second type of communication is mass communication mass communication enables millions of people to get the information at the same time now listen very careful the mass communication use millions of people to get the information at the same time and also it is a great way to provide education and entertainment through mass mass communication uh, we are getting education and entertainment also and also it helps in creating awareness among the people regarding some of the national policies and programs this mass communication helps to creating awareness among the people in the particular areas of national policies and programs then the mass communication system can be provide the information people in two methods they are print method and electronic method i will repeat students now we are learning mass communication millions of people get together getting the information is called mass communication this mass communication provide education and entertainment and also it helps to creating awareness among the people regarding national policies and programs and also this system can provide information to people in two methods listen very careful it provide two methods they are print media and electronic media print print media and electronic media okay first of all i am going to explain electronic media first of all i am going to explain electronic media radio television and internet are electronic media very good listen very careful students radio television and internet are the electronic media now i am going to explain one by one first one is radio first one is radio it is a broadcasting in india this uh, broadcasting was started in the year 1923 the radio club of bombay the radio broadcasting was started in the year 1923 by the radio club of bombay and also uh, the all india radio it is uh, it get the name all india radio in the year 1936 it get the name all india radio in the year 1936 then in 1957 it get the rename that is agashavani in 1957 it get the rename that is agashavani and also through this radio broadcast variety of programs are we are getting for example in for some of the information we are getting education through radio we are getting the education some of the entertainment we are getting special news some of the special news we are getting then uh, bill, uh, bulletins bulletins means official news bulletins means 
official news uh, then broadcasted on special occasion that means wide wise news also we are getting through this radio some of the parliament news and state legislatures news also we are getting through this radio now listen very careful student now we are learning electronic media the first one is radio this radio broadcasting is started in the year 1923 then it get the name all india radio when it get the name all india radio in the year 1936 then it get the rename that is agashavani which year it get the name agashavani 1957 and also some some of the information we are getting through this radio we are getting education entertainment some of the special news special news uh, bulletins bulletins means official news broadwide okay in the world level all the news we are getting through this radio parliament news state legislatures news this all thing we are getting through this radio then the second one is television the second one is television television broadcasting has emerged as the most effective audio visual medium okay it is the most effective audio visual medium for disseminating information disseminating information means spread ideas or knowledge disseminating information means spread ideas or knowledge okay and educating the masses some of the educational uh, news also we are getting through this television then television network in india is known as doordarshan television network in india is known as doordarshan it is started commonly national program services it is started common national program services and also it is extended to the backward and remote rural areas listen very careful students the second important electronic media is television it is the uh, it is emerged as effective audio visual medium we are getting so many informations through television for example education areas we are getting so many information then some of the news all the things worldwide all the things we are getting through this television and also this television network uh, is known as doordarshan television network is known as doordarshan okay then the third one is internet the third electronic media is internet okay now listen very careful students internet that means contraction of interconnected network contraction of interconnected network contraction means shortened form of a word okay shortened form of a word then this internet is the global system of interconnected computer network this internet is the global system of internet interconnected computer network that means world level global system means world level interconnected computer networks uh, it uh, it is used to internet protocol uh, suit internet protocol suit protocol means agreement between the state protocol means agreement between the state and also social media or interactive computer mediated social media or interactive interactive means act interactive means to act the social media or act in computer mediator some of the technologies that facilitate the creation and sharing of information it creates through this social media interactive we are getting some of the information ideas career career means development through life okay development through life then interest and other forms of expansion via visual visual means being in fact okay these all things we are getting through internet listen very careful students now the third means of electronic media is internet uh, it is one of the important um, network system in the global uh, area global means in the world level and also <clears throat> it is mostly used to getting some of the information ideas some of the career career means development through life then interest and other forms of expression uh, through these communities networks we are getting okay then 
then the second one is the print media now listen very careful students the mass communication has two methods the one is electronic method and the other one is print media is it now i explained about electronic media now i am going to explain print media now i am going to explain print media the important source of print media is newspaper listen very careful students the important source of print media is newspaper okay newspapers are the most common and powerful means of communication come under print media already i told this it the one of the important source of print media is newspaper india has many newspapers which carry information on local national and international events to the people listen very careful students now we are learning print media the important source of print media is newspaper okay newspapers it is the most common and powerful means of transport uh, under print media india has many newspapers it carry some of the information we are through i mean newspapers we are getting all the information about local information we are getting national level information we are getting and international level all the countries all the information uh, news and all we are getting through this uh, print media that is newspaper can you understand students okay now we learned about the communication is it shall we recall the points students now we learned about communication is it what is mean by communication very good communication is a process that involves exchange of information thoughts and ideas then uh, next we learned about the two types of communication that mean the communication is classified into two types is it what are the two types of communication very good personal communication and mass communication personal communication what is mean by personal communication the exchange of information between the individuals that means one person to other person exchanging information from one person to other person is called personal communication what are the important sources of personal communication students post telegraph services telephone mobile phone short message services fax internet email these are the important sources of personal communication then in india how many post offices are there very good 1 lakh 55000 post offices are there out of from this uh, in the rural areas how many post offices are there 1 lakh 39000 post offices are there is it then in which year the postal service was opened very good in the year 1837 the postal service was opened in the year 1837 then the next question first indian postal stamp was issued in the year very good 1852 is it then the quick mail service was introduced in the year 1975 is it then the quick mail service functioned on the basis of the system of pin what is the abbreviation of pin postal index number this postal index number was introduced in the year 1972 is it then we learned about some of the premium products for example money order e money order speed post express parcel post business post likewise some of the premium products we learned is it then next we learned about the uh, about std and ist is it std and ist that means in, in indian villages two thirds of third of part of the indian villages have std what is the abbreviation of std very good subscriber trunk dialing is it then international communication also made through ist what is the abbreviation of ist students international subscriber dialing is it then um, and also this telephone is a form of oral communication it is considered very essential for growth of commerce also okay some of the uh, important uh, personal communication are used for the economic area for example mobile phone fax internet these are the important personal communication used in the country for economic condition 
then second important type is mass communication is it mass communication what is mean by mass communication students mass communication enables millions of people to get information at the same time mass communication means millions of people get the information uh, from mass communication in the same time which are the things mostly we can uh, get through this mass communication education and internet education and internet okay then this mass communication provides two methods is it what are the two methods of mass communication print media and electronic media is it print media and electronic media then from there first we learned about the electronic media is it then what are electronic medias radio television internet first we learned about radio is it radio broadcasting india was started in the year 1923 is it then it get the name agashavani in which year it get the name agashavani 1957 before that it get the name all india radio in the year 1936 is it then through radio we are getting some of the entertainments the education some of the information relating all programs or some of the uh, important parliament news or legislative state legislatures news special news some of the official news these all things we are getting through radio then the second electronic media is television is it television it is broadcasting has emerged as most effective audio visual medium of um, media is it then it through television we are getting uh, information about education some of other news worldwide news we are getting through this television and also this television network is known as doordarshan okay then the third important electronic media is internet third important electronic media is internet internet contraction of interconnected network what is mean by contraction shortened form of a world Contra contraction means shortened form of a world okay then through internet uh, we are getting uh, some of the social media that means um it is the global system wide we are getting the news that means world level we are getting the information social media it is interactive computer mediated technologies act interactive means act or earth other okay through this uh, internet we are getting some of the facilities of creation and sharing of information ideas career career means development through life development through life interest and other forms of expression via virtual that means being in fact communities and networks finally we learned about print media the second method that is print media the important source of print media is newspaper the important source of print media is newspaper it is one of the most common and powerful means of communication okay then india has many newspapers through new newspapers we are getting local news national level news and international level events we are getting through this print media okay students can you understand i hope you understood about these portions the continuation of this lesson i will teach the next class then uh, in next class i will complete this lesson okay now i'll up take the exercise pages page number 199 page number 199 roman number 3 page number 199 roman number 3 state sorry what is communication what are its types what is communication what are its types page number 195 answer is page number 195 communication heading communication heading first para fully communication heading first para fully communication is a process that involves exchange of information thoughts and ideas the technology does wonders in communication fields communication is categorized into personal and mass communication personal and mass communication then then roman number 4 roman number 4 
distinguish between distinguish between second question personal communication and mass communication second question personal communication and mass communication then third question print media and electronic media print media and electronic media these two questions you should refer guide you should refer the guide already i inform you should buy the sura guide i hope you all are bought that sura guide from sura guide you should learn distinguish answers okay students we will meet the next class thank you